You are listening to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss our RC adventures. Welcome to the Park Flyer Podcast, where we discuss the ups and downs of the new RC Flyer. Join your hosts, Michael and Jay, as they take flight at the park. Now on with the show. Jay, welcome back to the Park Fire uh, Podcast. You just received an award. I did. What was I that? did. Um, I'm the best of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to Lane's Planes, uh, this is the Hard Luck Award for 2019 for breaking my best friend's plane, <laughs> smashing it all across the ground. I said, screw this plane. <laughs> yep, and uh, if only we had someone around that could fix it. Well, guess what? That's we, me. Well, and, I could, and I could. And I. I couldn't have done it without our next guest. That's right. Thanks to uh, Steve over at RC Doctors, right? The That's flight right. Doctors. The flight, the flight doctors. doctors. The flight doctors. An appropriate name, too. <laughs> that is. This needed major surgery. It did need major surgery. Steve, welcome to the podcast. Uh, welcome, guys. Thanks for having me. Yes, anytime. We uh, we are lucky enough to share a booth with him. <laughs> well, yeah. If, uh, it's his booth. It's his you know, chairs, I know. it's I know, it's everything. It's everything. <laughs> this we, guy, he helped us out, man. He did, man. He just stepped up and uh, has helped us. So, Steve, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I've been flying since I was a kid. Uh, this snowball from a side project Keith and I were doing. He's sitting over there, man, in the booth. Mm-hmm. Uh, wife looked at us one day. He's like, you guys are like little doctors playing with the toys. And it's <laughs> snowballed from there. A lot of people want to fly quads drones, right. everything, they don't want to fix or repair. Correct. That's so that's where I come in. Excellent. Oh. Sounds a lot like Jay. He, he spends a lot of time fixing stuff. Yeah. As you can see. I, want, a, is I want an award this. for it. <laughs> Do you have an award? Yeah, I, don't I don't have don't, an award. I don't see you with an award. Over I don't buddy, see So you. just back off. <laughs> <laughs> well, to bring everybody up to speed, uh, we all flew the fundraiser, Mike's fundraiser that we did a podcast on. We painted it and... Uh, it was Jay's turn to go out there. We launched it, and I don't know what happened, but it uh, augured into the ground. So he brought it back here, started gluing it all back together, and he needed uh, this or needed that, and Steve stepped up and said, here you go. So we appreciate you helping us get it back in the air. And I remade it just a few minutes ago, flew fantastic, and now we can't figure out what's wrong with it. So <laughs> we got Steve back that over here. That was not in me. The I well, I it was know. my turn to fly. These guys were setting me up, and all of a sudden things weren't working right, quite yeah, right. That's right. So uh, so you repair uh, quads, RC airplanes. Yep. How, how does that whole business work? Uh, so in Cary, we've got a hobby store, Hangar 18 Hobbies. Right. Uh, been there for 11 years. Okay. And people come in, see us. We do gaming, cars, trucks, everything you can imagine there. Okay. They come in, they see me to repair little drones from small ones to right. I build scientific research, search and rescue drones, wow. autonomous aircraft, everything in between. Wow. So they come in and they see us in that. And I'm there a few days during the week mm-hmm. doing the Weiss Honeydew list the rest of the week. Sure. And people are like, hey, I need you to build this, need you to build that. Can you do this? Can you do that? I'm like, yeah, grab the parts from Brian at Hangar and come see me. And that's what, that's again, it's snowballed from there. Wow. So that's fantastic. we're at the event. We've been doing this. They've been doing this for three years. We've been here Every every year so far, and it's fun. It's getting a lot bigger. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun out here. I think he had a record uh, year this year with the pilots yep. and, and people coming out. It was kind of amazing. Yeah. So, exactly. Well, that's neat. And, well, and what's you, the, you got a few sales? Uh, yeah, a, few, a couple a few, of sales. I saw a few kids go away with a, a smile on their face. Oh yeah, definitely. We also laser cut out some little airplanes for the kids just oh, to nice. just to have something you know to get sure. them interested in the hobby and it's all. It's a little Spitfire or something, right? Oh, it's all sorts of stuff. They're There's all different. F-16, F-18. Oh, really? Oh, I, yeah. I thought it was just one plane. Oh, no, no, no. There's awesome. a whole bunch of them. That's kind of I think neat. we gave away like 60-some of them. That's yeah. awesome. Just laser cut them out. And we do that, too. We'll scan the plans. So if you've got a something you want to build from scratch, let us have the plans. Let us scan it. You guys start building, and when you break apart, because there's a lot of old old timers mm-hmm. out there with the die cast or the die cut kits, just right, like the yeah. plane I'm working on. Right. Yeah, and if you know, as soon as you pull that out there, it's going to break. Right. So right. we can scan it in there and say, "Hey, listen, I need former number one or whatever. We'll cut it out for you, and there you go." No oh, crap. Okay. That's all awesome. sorts of repairs and. So I take it you have a laser cutter because uh, the trophies this year for the quad guys and the one that Jay just got are yeah. laser cut. Well. Lane's Planes did that one. Oh, Lane's Planes. The I gotcha. multi-GP race and all that, they came up to us because we fly the drones and mm-hmm. race also. It's like, we don't have awards this year. So that literally what we did was a last-minute thing. They loved it. So, yeah, we've got laser cutter, uh, 3D printer, 
glues everything, everything you can That's want. That's unbelievable. Nice. So what's the strangest repair you've had to do so far? Guy called up the shop, says, I've got something. I was like, bring it in. He said, it won't fit. I go, out <laughs> I, I go out the back of the shop, and he hands me a car remote. And he says, here. And on this device are two 36-volt motors, three 12-volt batteries, horns, and linkages. You sit there, and you drive this thing like a remote control car, and the cowboys steer. They lasso <laughs> it like it's a steer. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. awesome. Okay, folks, even I'm sitting here with my mouth open <laughs> trying to envision this thing. That a, yeah, robo- awesome. a, robo- a robot it, cow. It's just a big square box, and it had the horns on there, a and you would drive cow. it like a remote control car. Sure. And the cogs would go up, and the head would turn and all that, and the cowboys would try to steer it. So, you know, you don't hurt the animals and right, wear them out. Right, You've right. got a remote control steer. That robot. is There's awesome. a market for ro- robot Robo- cows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> robot cows. <laughs> That's what it is. I know it's a robot cow, but that can you imagine? I get. I used to own a business too, and people oh. would bring stuff in for yeah. the fix, and that would just be hilarious. No, I mean, I'm just, it just, <laughs> I, I, it's funny, but I'm just thinking, you know, because I'm from Texas, and I'm just thinking, well, I don't, I've never heard of that in Texas. <laughs> I know a robot maybe, cow. Maybe we need to bring it to Texas. Maybe so. I'm just thinking, if it's big here in North Carolina, <laughs> it'd be even bigger in Texas. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, gentlemen. I'm just going to put that on the yeah, table. not none of those little horns. We want the long <laughs> horns on that nice thing. You know, Driving around the parking lot, that'd be awesome. Hey, we could do different ones. We could do a little, we have a goat class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A goat class. You have a calf class. That's right. You have a big steer, different yeah. types of cows. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You just re- reattach the different horns on it, and you could have a whole different <laughs> robo cow. Oh, well, my gosh. It sounds silly, but I, 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 yep. I'm just saying that he, I, I wouldn't believe it if you were to tell me this, yeah, but he's yeah. sitting here, so it has to yeah, be real. Yeah, it has to be real. Yep. Wow. That's so the big question is, did you fix it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the most important part, right? <laughs> he was happy yeah. as Robo Cowboys. Happy Cowboys, yeah. happy Cowboys out there. Man. <laughs> I just, I'm just trying to. Yeah, I know, yeah. right? I wonder if it has a little cowbell attached to it. I it? don't know. It's a ding a ling More cowbell. That's awesome. Well, uh, so what do you find is the most common? Is it drones or planes? Or? It, it's, it's a mix. Cars, drones, planes. It, it all depends. It seems some weeks where everybody comes in with a car and says, I broke this, and it's the same. Next week, it's airplanes. It, it all depends. Gotcha. It all depends. And coming out here, this is more of a community-based type event and all that. So right. we know all the flyers and everybody out here. Right. Uh, so we'll bring some parts out if they need that. But like you saw on the table here, we've got from the shop all sorts of airplanes. And yeah, that, sure. All ready to fly from all ages. Right. A lot of people are worried, well, my kid's only seven years old. We've got grown adults that can't handle this stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we actually see that with Jay. Oh, yeah, yeah, come right. on. He's got an award. <laughs> yeah, he's got an award. Prove it. Prove it. That's right. No. Yeah. yeah, I can prove I can't handle it. It is a major award. <laughs> well, uh, well so, that's pretty cool. So along that line, I mean, so the ready-to-fly aircraft, the ARFs, mm-hmm. have changed dramatically oh, in the so past much. five years. Yeah. I mean, oh, you go from absolutely. when they say ARF and then you work on it for two weeks. You know, yeah, that's yeah. how it used to be. And yeah. now, quite literally, if you aren't done with it in five minutes in a screwdriver, there's oh, something yeah. wrong with you. Pretty much everything sitting out here is, by the time the battery's done, you should have already been done with the aircraft. Exactly. Right? Yeah, it's, it's so, 40, 40 so because screws. So because of that, are you finding that guys are still coming to you going, yep. it's broke, me no fix. Yeah. You're right. A, a, lot of, a lot of the guys come. I just had one where I did a 64-inch P38. Mm-hmm. He wanted it assembled. He didn't have time and all that to do it. The assembly part, it's not a build, it's an assembly, right. was easy. It mm-hmm. was putting the 150 decals on there that right. was the pain in the rear. Oh, right. So <laughs> it's, it's all that kind of detail yeah, that's as well. True. Right. I didn't think about that, but yeah, you're right. Yeah. So. so, yeah, so I mean, whether it's foam or scratch build or something like that, yeah, there's a lot of people who want to fly. They just don't have the time, the patience or whatever, and, hey, I'm going to fly. I crashed it. Here, call me when it's done. Right. So, and that makes it easy because I know the parts are readily available for most of this stuff you have on the table. It's oh, yeah. A lot of Horizon stuff. You just a lot of Horizon something, stuff. Yep. So, and that's pretty nifty. Wow. Well, that's uh, interesting. They, uh, the good news is is that we had um, John on earlier who yes. won the Yak 55, yes. Yes. and you were the one that put it together, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, the club donated the airplane. Right. Brian at Hangar 18 Hobbies donated all the electronics, and Keith and I put it together and tested it and everything. So wow. it's a handful. Yeah. It's going to be a handful. I, but ha- I have one just like it, actually. It's just, yeah. I used to own 
I, I mean, I fly real airplanes for a living. Uh-huh. So I had a Yak 55, actually. Ooh. And uh, so Jay, for my birthday or Christmas or something, birthday. got one. And it showed up, this big box. And, you know, of course, my wife's like, what would you order now? And I have to explain it. It's not me. It's Jay. <laughs> yeah, she always she never <laughs> believes Jay. Me. She never believes him. Yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, look, he's got his name on it. But anyway, uh, I stripped all the covering off of it and covered it exactly like my my real oh, size cool. Yak. Yeah, you could so, say it was a little gaudy. Oh, uh, it was. It, a, it was. Yeah. It was fabulous. Let's it was it yellow, <laughs> black. It's fabulous. You know. I didn't like the paint scheme. It was yellow, reddish, black colors. It just didn't and work. And that's the beauty of the balsa ones. You yeah. don't like it. Strip it off. Cover yep. it the way you want. The foam, you're limited. You can paint it. It just adds weight and slows them down a sure. bit. But sure. That but, is uh, true. But it, it came out pretty good. So uh, yeah, Except out. for the uh, the painting of the nose cone, right? That that. The it, cowling. It, cowling. Yeah, the, the cowling. Cowling, cowling gave me some trouble. Yeah, he had a problem with uh, mixing paints. One paint <laughs> up upon another paint made the thing, like, melt and do well, some Well, you things. know, I grabbed some testers and sprayed it, and then I grabbed some Monocoat and sprayed it, and those two don't mix. No, no, they don't. So about 30 minutes to an hour after I painted this beautiful paint job, I came walking back in there, and it was just bubble. bubble, bubble, bubble. bubble. <laughs> it literally, it was like I sent him a picture. It looked like the whole thing had melted. <laughs> The paint was just running because it didn't stick to, you know, yeah. the lamp, the enamel. So it just was just these big drips coming down. And I was like, what happened, you know? <laughs> so I had to wind up sanding the whole thing to get all that gooey yep. paint off. It was a mess. But now it's all nice. Yeah, it's it looks got nice. Stickers, so it looks really good. So, Well, that's fantastic. This is your third year doing it, you said? Yep. And, uh, yep. yeah, you've uh, obviously got a good showing. People, uh, I can't believe how many people have been stopping by the booth just saying hello. Yeah. So. Exactly. Uh, you work out, uh, you know, work with the guys really well. Now, uh, let's say Jay and I aren't from this area, so mm-hmm. when we have stuff we need to fix, that we, we can ship not. it to you, right? Yeah. You know I mean yeah. yeah. So you do you do mail order in, yep. ship out kind exactly. of things? Exactly. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, we can tell the audience, how would I find you? I'm That's just right. sitting on the net going, man, I wish I had somebody who could build I have my this, airplane. I have this box full of balsa dust. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do I send it to to re, re, re-put it together and uh, make me a new plane? So uh, It's easy. On the web, it's www.theflightdoctors.com. Okay. And the Facebook page I just turned on a couple days ago, so it's in its infancy. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we got we, that problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just got our – it's it's actually a wonderful thing because uh, your customers can really relay back to you, mm-hmm. you know, show pictures of your plane after they yep. get it or destroy it, right. or they can say, hey, here's some, like I said, balsa dust. Can you make this look like this? Exactly. So yeah. uh, I think you'll like the having a yeah. Facebook page. Yep. It's yeah, we really have nice. a Part Fire podcast listeners group, and they're all the time posting on it, so yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, man, uh, it is late in the afternoon, and things are slowly winding down. And that's going to fall off the table. I know. It well, will. and I'm not going to fix it this time, so <laughs> Steve may get some business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's>, uh, and <laughs> hopefully your shipping's free. You know, <laughs> we'll just anyway. need a big enough battery to fly back. To yeah, you. there you go. <laughs> We're gonna FPV it back to Texas. There you go. We'll stop off in Alabama and re uh, you know, recharge the battery. battery up. That's cool. But yeah, we appreciate you, Steve, coming coming oh, yeah, out in a few anytime. minutes and telling us all about your business and yeah. the work that you do. And it, like I said, it's obvious that you get along with the folks here because yeah. this guy was Mr. Popular. I know he was. And actually, it's been really fun hanging out in the same booth. I mean, you know, it's oh, always yeah. kind of weird. You, we've gone to some places where the guy next to you was like, you know, don't cross my line. You know, <laughs> I mean, we'd, honestly, you know, you're kind of like, geez, dude, so you know, settle down. You know, go away from my airplanes. But <sighs> it's been really fun. You know, he's he, Steve has been really cordial to oh, us. Oh, yeah. And, well, not just that. I just like watching him when he's interacting yeah, with people. Because either really if, if they're not coming over to ask a question, he's got his hand out and he's shaking a hand. I haven't seen you in like for ages. Where's right. my money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want my two dollars. I want my two dollars. Where, you know, where you been? Exactly. So no, it's been fun sitting sitting here next yeah, to you, Steve. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're a good guy. Yeah. Let me tell you. And he's funny too. So we've been laughing a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Well, if you're. Uh, not in the, if you're in the Holly Springs or Cary, North Carolina area, look them up and uh, yep. go to Hangar 18 Hobbies. Those yep. guys have some stuff out there for you. Yep, Hangar 18 Hobbies. We're on Kildare Farm Road in Cary. Uh, on Facebook, Hangar 18 Hobbies and Hangar18Hobbies.com. Website's up and running there. And uh, buy, sell, and get parts and planes there if you're out of town as well. There you Very go. Cool. And then, yeah, like you said, you need, need it fixed, whatever, ship it to me. We'll build from scratch. We'll Perfect. Glue the foam, whatever That's you need. Right. Got a balsa? Got a, got a bag of balsa? Send it to this man. It's and it's funny after talking and trying to figure out the tagline we came up with was hobbyist helping hobbyist. <laughs> hey, so, there you uh, go. Yeah, I like That's that. That's the best way. 
I mean, I like that's that. kind of what we do this, yeah. right? Yeah. We just talk about all the fun things. Good news is when you're at Hangar 18 Hobbies and Steve's Fixing Your Airplane, you can go have pizza because it's right by the uh, Loop Pizza there. So. <laughs> it's actually Mexican now. <laughs> <laughs> the Loop's gone. Oh, oh, man, that's too the funny. pizza. I'm not going to have a Mexican <laughs> while I wait. Well, I, but I might have to get a marker <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's right. on the side of his bed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we can cut that part out. Oh, so. my gosh. That's too uh, funny. We're actually sitting next to the Hangar Hobbies trailer. Yeah. And on there it has their... A Kildare Farm Road and carrying it says located in Kildare Plaza by Toros and the Loop Pizza. Yeah. So uh, I just noticed that we were sitting here, but evidently now it's Mexican food. So you can uh, go see Hangar Hobbies, have Steve build your plane, go have Mexican food. And there you pizza. go. So there you go. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> too funny. All right. Well, Hangar Eighteen Hobbies dot com or the the Flight Doctors dot com and uh, give your shout out. Tell them the Park Fire Podcast sent you. Yep. And uh, Steve has been great having you. We really had thank fun you guys. Meeting. It's been thank fun. You. We appreciate right. it. Thanks, Thanks for Thanks. joining thank the podcast. You. Thanks. Welcome back to the Park Fire Podcast. Uh, I got a weird situation here, Jay. Uh, um, I don't uh, know how to deal with this because there's two Jays here. There's you, and then That's there's true. Jay Marsh from the AMA. Um, well, I, I just say, uh, I don't know. Uh, J1, J2. J2, J1, uh, J2, yeah. Uh, there's I'll, a call him Mr. There. <laughs> I'll call him Mr. J. I'll call him Mr. J. Oh, oh no. you say Mr. Yeah. Good-looking yeah. Jay. Yeah, good-looking oh. Jay. And there's that. Ogre Jay. Right, o- older <laughs> Jay. Yeah, exactly. All right, so anyway, uh, it's been a great day. I mean, the weather's been fantastic. Oh, it's been fantastic. Uh, it's just a slight so breeze now, yeah. With Dorian bearing down on the United States. Yeah. What a great time to have this uh, event here. Yeah, get it out and get going. So uh, I, I don't know much about what a vice president for District 4 might do, so would you mind just sort of sharing that with our listeners? I mean, maybe they already know, but I certainly don't. So. Okay. Uh, well, my, uh, the United States is broken up into 11 districts. Uh, these uh, districts were defined back in the uh, 40s and 50s uh, due to the Nats and the, uh, the national contest that was held each oh, year. Not the little bugs, but yeah, right, <laughs> okay, right, got it. right, exactly. <laughs> and so the, uh, uh, they would move this competition around the country, and they were moving from naval base to naval base or air force base nice. and that's how the districts got defined okay district four is where you are right now and that's north carolina virginia maryland delaware and i'm the lucky guy that has washington dc oh, okay. Oh, okay uh so uh our job is to uh we are on the executive council of the ama so we are basically the board of directors and uh we uh give guidance uh, to the AMA organization to uh, keep the wheels turning and, and everything happening. Um, my goal out here with the members is to be amongst the members and ask, answer questions, uh, be a resource for them, let them know that uh, if they have a, a problem or something like that, I can intercede because I do know how the AMA works uh, in Muncie. So, so, like, what's the most, I guess, popular question that you get? It depends on whether you're talking about a member or the public. The public's number one question is, how far will it go? I was just uh, about to say okay. uh, <laughs> How far can you see, see is my answer. Well, yeah. Yeah. well with first-person view nowadays, yeah. that, uh, that does change, change, the, change yeah. that somewhat. Exactly. But the AMA's 550 rule right. uh, dictates that uh, if you're flying first-person view, you have to have a spotter. That actually has line of sight mm-hmm. uh, with the model. Um, so we were demonstrating that to the FAA a couple of weeks ago. And so we had some of their members uh, put on first-person view goggles. And uh, they were sure they knew exactly where that airplane was. That. So we said, well, take them off and find the airplane. And not a single one of them knew where it was because we tricked them. We went around behind them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at the FAA. I shouldn't laugh yeah. at the FAA. That's they don't know your last name, so you're they good. <laughs> <laughs> they have a little bit of a sense of humor, but not much. <laughs> True. Well, they're government. I don't think they're supposed to. Right. Hey, so you said that you're over Washington, D.C., right? Yes. So that's a very unique case because, unfortunately, the rules kind of changed, and some of the clubs down there actually got shut down, uh, right? Yep. So how did how's that all working, or...? Yeah. Uh, well, that's correct. Uh, that's called the Special Flight Rules Area, or CIFRA. 
Uh, it extends 30 nautical miles away from Reagan National Airport and basically covers the entire area. There are special rules for that uh, in which uh, we were capped at uh, altitudes uh, less than 400 feet uh, and could only fly uh, during the daytime, could not uh, fly uh, in, in bad weather, not that we would, but right. there were a lot, a lot of rules. Um, since that time, and, and when they, uh, uh, when the, uh, the, I'm trying to think how to put this, um, when the, they implemented security features after somebody landed a drone on the president's lawn, then they started changing some of the rules in the CIFRA. Right. And that uh, caused uh, the uh, Homeland Security and Secret Service to start testing uh, how to bring drones down, uh, how, uh, what they could use as a defense. Uh, because they saw the uh, potential for, for bad players uh, in there. During that period of time, and unfortunately it had to happen right before Christmas, <laughs> uh, I had to notify um, the 21 clubs that are inside the uh, wow. CIFRA that they could no longer fly, uh, period. Everybody was grounded. Uh, that lasted for about uh, a month and a half. Uh, while all the testing was going on, they, the uh, uh, FAA did not want anything in the air at that point. Uh, then they allowed us to go back and start flying, and I think that they did that so that they could test whether or not they could spot us. Right. Um, but uh, since then, uh, we uh, uh, once things kind of got back to normal, we've been able to get waivers to, uh, uh, to 1,200 feet. Cool. Uh, inside the uh, CIFRA. Um, and then when the uh, uh, reauthorization bill came into play, that kind of stopped that because it was now a, another law uh, that replaced the 336, which we were operating under, and now we're operating under 349. Um, so as that gets implemented, there will be changes uh, associated with that as well. Huh. Okay. Wow. That, that sounds way over my head. <laughs> I just want to fly my airplane. Everybody wants to just fly their airplane. Exactly. But uh, with the crazies out there, this is the government's answer on how to, uh, how to stop that. Uh, and we will be the prime ones to, uh, you know, show them the way it's supposed to be done. But sure. Right. Right. Well, the, 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 the crazy part about this is, is when you have somebody who's going to do something wrong or some, if not oh, pay, yeah. who doesn't pay, uh, pay attention to the rules, of course, that doesn't help anybody. And, and we end up looking like the bad guys, the guys who are obeying the rules. It's just one of those crazy things that drives me insane. Because, That's correct. You know. That's correct. The so, government does realize that you can't educate stupid. There you go. And they do also realize that there are bad actors. There right. are bad yeah. players. Right. And uh, we are can't. not in that category. Yeah. Uh, we are one of the, uh, uh, I would say, the primary sources for the FAA in determining what, uh, what laws and, and how these laws are to be implemented. Well, an education arm, really, I mean, I, indirectly. I know that they, you know, they can't mandate what you teach or whatever, but uh, without you guys in play, their education efforts are probably going to sink to the ground. Oh, it, it would be impossible. Yeah. yeah it really it's would. Ridiculous. And And we're offering to take over a lot of the legwork, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, for the FAA and do a lot of the work. Um, one of the big deals that, uh, that we're working with is uh, our chartered flying sites. If you're flying from an AMA chartered field, you do not have to report where you are. Well, that's the cool. field is already wavered it's already known. Uh, yeah, in controlled nice. airspace, so there's no need to notify the FAA. If you're flying, technically, if you're flying uh, in your backyard, you need to notify the FAA through a program called Lance that just lets them know where you are, where you're flying, how high, and, and when you're going to quit. Um, but uh, uh, So we're, we're working very hard to try to... Uh, you know, accommodate the, uh, our members and get the best resolution that we possibly can out of the uh, uh, FAA. That's cool. 
I, I know we appreciate all the hard work that you guys do, do you, know, you and your other vice presidents. You guys are out there swinging the bat all the time, so we really appreciate it. We have an entire government relations team that uh, is in Washington uh, at least once a week, if not several times a week, uh, representing us. I know that uh, the entire executive council went to D.C. about two months ago to visit our senators. Uh, when the bill when the bill was passed by the House, the Senate just basically rubber stamped it because it was time for vacation. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, so anyhow, we were going back, touching base with the senators, uh, and getting making sure that we had their support. Should something not uh, should we need help from Congress right. to uh, educate? a government department as to uh, these guys really do know what they're doing. You need mm. to listen to them. Right. Yeah, that's cool. Well, okay. one of the things I would like to touch upon, I, I'm super impressed by Holly Springs, just in the fact that, I they, too. that they work so well with their local government to get a field, to get permission. They work so well together. They're having this event. They help support you know their local area, and they support them. And I was just talking to the, to one of the folks who uh, are local folks here, uh, just how this thing all came about. And I'm really impressed because I tried to do this back. I'm originally from Anchorage, Alaska, and I tried to do something up there, and I was met with so much resistance from the local government, and they were their fear of this new thing or flying planes in a park or you know how dangerous it was going to be and there was going to be bodies strewn all over or, or oh my gosh you know what's the liability and what could happen and and then I. I went on to say about the education because if we have a if we have our local club, our uh, club that was up there would help educate people and get that stuff out there. And then I said, well, well, it's better than people just pirating and just going out to the fields that are that's happening now. And they're like, it's happening now. Oh my gosh, there's people who who don't have a, a license or don't. Well, well, I'm like, well, you don't need a light. Okay. Yes, there's people who are flying. Just they just go out and fly out in the park, and they were bandit like, "Bandit flyers, we call yeah, them. bandit yeah. flyers." So they were just like, "Oh my gosh, this is this is horrible," we, I, I, and they could just be doing all these terrible things. And I'm like, "Well, and in a lot of cases, they do yeah. terrible things." But they were just because I brought it up. It was one of those things. I was like, "Well, no, you know, just by bringing just by up, bringing it up, it sent them into a tizzy." And they're like, "Oh, yeah. there's no way we can uh, sanction you guys come out because it may make more people come out that." Will, will be bandits and i'm just like huh no because we'll be out there and then we, you know we're watching your field we're out there flying and then we'll see these people and we'll tell them you know hey, they should join our club, club. And, you know and if they're causing trouble then we can report it absolutely they they just didn't they all they could see was bandit they just heard the word bandit and they they were like no yeah i ran into uh, uh a family that's been flying over at dorothy Dix in in the park over there and uh they have run into the same problem with bandits that uh, will buzz people, buzz animals uh, with these multi-rotors. And right this minute, they have no control uh, because there's no one in charge. Right. The park thinks that they're in charge. Well, after talking to uh, this family today, uh, I suggested that they start a club. It only takes five people to start right. a, an sure AMA does. chartered club. And uh, yep. <laughs> uh, so uh, and I told them that once you do that, then we can interface better with the park. And uh, even if the park says this is a public place and public people are invited and so forth, we always get the, the park to agree that whoever's there flying has to abide by the Academy of Model Aeronautics safety code. Right. If they don't, then the club that's there can ask the person to leave. Right now, it's public Give them authority. property. Yeah. Exactly. And so they have no authority hmm. uh, to ask a bad player to, it's a really uh, good idea. to leave. Uh, but uh, we have an entire department set up with uh, an AMA to uh, establish uh, new chartered fields and uh, deal with uh, the local governments and so forth. Um, so it, it's uh, these uh, municipalities should realize that we are the ones that are going to keep them out of trouble. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Jay, I appreciate you coming and giving us a couple oh, minutes. Oh, thank you to, for to the opportunity. To, oh, my goodness. Thanks. I didn't even know you were here until he, <laughs> until he, he just said it. I was like, really? There's an AMA guy here? Oh, awesome. 
So thank you for giving us a couple of minutes and, and talking about everything that's happening in the area. Um, I guess, did you bring anything to fly? Are you flying today? <laughs> Well, that's the one thing. When I became a vice president, my flying kind of went uh, oh. uh, to a halt. I, how do we I, how do we I vote in a rule now. that requires you to fly? Oh, at wouldn't that be event? great? Yeah, I don't wouldn't trust that. that I, let us know how to do that because we would like to vote in a rule. That yeah, says, I don't know if I trust the president who doesn't fly. You know, that, that just right. seems kind of weird to me. I do fly. Okay. <laughs> no, oh no, we I don't that. fly well now because I'm out of practice. Uh, but we, we believe that, and we want to encourage the idea that you know folks from the MA are flying at these events, not just showing up and you know doing the work that they already are doing, but that they can have fun too because, you know, it's got to be hard work going all these places, talking to different people, trying to, I, I don't know, for lack of a better word, convince them to be reasonable. Uh, I love yeah. to be amongst the members. Yeah. I like <laughs> I to be out there with yeah, them. And, I get it. you know, I mean, that's what I'm there for. And But, but at the same time, you I know. i got lots of friends. A guy should fly. <laughs> yeah, a guy should fly. Anyway, well, that's great. Uh, thank you so much for coming oh, yeah. and talking yeah, with us. Thank you, Jay. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't handle it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I'll let you get up, get back out there to talk to more members, sir. Thank you. All right, bye. Well, welcome back again to the Park Fire Podcast. Jay, we're wrapping up the day. It's been a fun, fun time. I'm tired. Uh, yeah, I am hot and I'm tired. It's been a yeah, good day. I know. It has been a good day. Well, we're uh, back with Doug, and uh, we're going to wrap it up here with you. Uh, how did the day go? We set an attendance record. Woo-woo! Fantastic. We, uh, <laughs> we had 79 uh, registered pilots. Wow. Uh, that's our best uh, outing yet. And, well, uh, this is the best yeah, day so you guys have had. That's, it's, that, the best, that's, it's the best consistent day. Uh, weather was like this last year, but the humidity was. Well, I heard it was 100, today, though. Oof. It might have been 100 that yeah. day. Oof. We we were beat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm feeling less tired than last year. Well, that's uh, good news. Which is good. So, yeah, we're just letting guys, uh, you know, do the final flights. And they can fly till 5, so we got still a little little time yep. left. Just a few more uh, hour or two. Yeah. And, uh, well, uh, I know that you couldn't do this all by yourself. So uh, why don't you take this opportunity to thank all of those people who you think contributed. Well, I, I really thank my officer corps. Because as we're, uh, it's myself, uh, Jason Getchman, Vice President, uh, Daniel Moffitt, who's our Treasurer, um, Ralph James, who is our safety person, and uh, Lehman LaFrancois, who is <laughs> our Secretary and Newsletter Editor. Uh, Raymond could not be here today. He had a family family thing he had to attend to. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, we've, uh, as officers, we kind of take the, take the, you know, the event on our shoulders as we're learning about how what it takes to put on an event and as we've done for the last three years we try to build those leave behind things that we come back to the next year and then we've got things we can package up and uh, say here why don't you you know club members who'd like to volunteer for this so we had a pretty good sign up sheet and uh, Andy Hartman one of our club members uh, he did a great job today doing our noontime demos he was our whip he filled a full hour of entertainment Wow, that is amazing. Yeah, we've never done that before. I've done it the last two years. I said, guys, I just can't do it. It's just it's so draining <laughs> and with everything else going on. He stepped right in and, and did yeah. a fantastic job. He did do a good job. Yeah, we had uh, we didn't actually report on the uh, noontime demo, but uh, we had some really good acts out there. They did the the Havocs were flying. Three helicopters. The, the three helicopters. Three helicopters. Flying. Yeah. I don't yeah. think they rehearsed that. Really? I, I'm not sure. Amazing. I don't know. It looked awesome. They were uh, big yeah, helicopters, did. and they kept them. <laughs> I thought the one guy was going to do a little final cut on the field because he was pretty low and upside <laughs> yeah. down. Uh, yeah, he was. But, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Well, we have to uh, thank you for being such a gracious host Absolutely. Uh, to the podcast. I, You know, you made us kind of the celebrities. We're not, but uh, it was fun, and uh, we really appreciate you uh, supporting us from actually from the beginning. So, yeah, uh, we've uh, we've had you kind of in our uh, in our little group here since uh, almost day one, so at least day three or four. Well, actually, he was uh, <laughs> one of the first people to correct us on something, right? And yeah, that's right. right. No, was I was such there, a so. such a. Yeah. A tailpipe, whatever. I, I got to keep it clean, guys. I was. You should have said this guy. It's a family guy. No, actually, we, we, out we here. That, that was the kind of stuff we were looking for. Yes, you know, we as were we put stuff out there, if we put something straight. out there you that's know, wrong. That's that. Yeah. But the thing, yeah, I know. The thing is, though, it was like I was reacting to something. It's like, ah, they, you know, whatever. It's 
<laughs> but, well, hey, you know, you reached out to me. You us. didn't, like, say, this guy's a jerk. Block him. Nope. No, no. Because nope. you said, hey, why don't you? Hey, smarty pants, come on and tell that's, us about what you think. That's basically what we got. <laughs> so that's what I'm we like, did. whoa, so. these guys are serious. Yeah. Well, you uh, obviously did real well with the drone uh, racing today. Those yeah, guys they were, had a blast. We had we yeah. had them over to talk to us earlier. Yeah, that's and, great. Uh, man, they did a really good job over there. Yeah, I, I don't look good. I don't do that aspect of the hobby, but yeah. uh, Roger Bess, yep. he's one of our club members. He's yep. with the Raleigh Rotor Racers. Loves that piece of it, and he he makes that his. His thing, the guys. Well, I, I, I like that you're able to separate them so that everybody could participate, mm-hmm. you know, one way or the other. Because, I mean, a lot of different places they'll say, okay, drones, drone only fly or a helicopter only fly or, you know, everybody kind of gets their own time. And this way, the, the way that you guys have it, it's almost like they have their area, you have your area, and it all works out. Yep. You know, if they want to fly there, they can go fly right now. And if they want to come fly airplanes, they come fly airplanes. And it's, you know, the setup here, I know you can't see it on radio, but, you know, it, it looks really good. I mean, it, they, they were able to maintain their little area and, uh, and you know, helicopters and everybody kind of mixed together. It was good. So, we, Yeah, uh, we're happy with this. <laughs> we're happy with the layout this year. Um, sure. we, we changed it from last year to – this, this is a big event field. Um, right. And, you know, it's a model flying. We'd like to fill it up, but sure. we're growing. So this year we kind of made it a little more intimate, if you will, and put everybody on one big event field so it's real easy to navigate. Sure. Um, well, it looked like you had a lot of spectators today as well, and uh, there's probably no way to count all that. You guys didn't count the spectators or cars. Well, I, I asked the park to do that, and they I think they estimated about 150 wow. spectators. That's very um, cool. And we had – 79 registered pilots so a, a terrific it's a record for right. our sure. event. we've had growth sure. year over year and that's uh, us well I, I got also. a chance to meet some of the park personnel and they came over and i was talking to them and they were over the moon with the amount of people that came and sure. just how everything was going and how smoothly it was working they they seemed very pleased to me so yeah. i think you're going to get good kudos from them that's for sure well that's good yeah because uh well you know it's always neat you're not sure how effective your social media or your advertising is on what events are going on until somebody mentions the event to you and you're like well that's how to wow that's great you know? <laughs> right we were in a co- jason and i were in a coffee shop uh making raffle ticket packages and we just mentioned about our fly-in and the person behind the counter said oh my uh my grandson's gonna go with that to go to that in two weeks i said really nice. you know it's like how did you hear about us and anyway that's so good. through the town oh. and stuff it's, it's all good well, it's uh, it's a great example for all those out there that are trying to do something like this, and uh, you guys do have done a very good job. And uh, I know Shannon Gallagher; he does the Arizona Electric Festival every year, and his his uh, event has grown bigger and bigger. It's a three day event now, right. so I know you probably don't do overnight camping and stuff here, but you know that that's a goal to get to. It is a goal to get to. Days. I've, I've yeah. told the town has got that in their vision somehow. Um, so nice. anyway, but th- yeah. that's always as we get a better footprint here. Sure, uh, right. multi-day event would be in our in our long-range plans. If we if oh, we make that happen, awesome. that means we're all being successful. Yes, that's true, and uh, we probably we probably would come out for a few <laughs> <events. laughs> Yeah, by that point, you'll have like six or seven hosts. You'll be a uh-huh, big that's enterprise. right. Yes, right. That. <laughs> we with will a much bigger interim. payroll. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, we're still working well, on the payroll. Thing, right. Well, we also got a chance <laughs> to talk to Jay Marsh, uh, your AMA representative yeah. here. Yeah. In, yeah. And, District Four and VP. And he was also impressed with you guys. And he was very proud of what you guys have done, and he wants to show you guys off. Well, we're we're ready. We're always like to ham it up, and we're. I mean, that's why, that's why Jason and I founded the club because we wanted right, to, you know, right. make this uh, hobby accessible to people and well to us. Because selfishly, we fly planes, and and uh, it's just worked out great. I mean, we've had no resistance at all from the town. They've at, I think I told you the story. They came to us and said, why don't you guys do an event? We'd only been a club a year. We're like, I don't think right. we're ready. They're like, we want you to do an event. And we did it, you know, and we just jumped in. And so you got to have members in your club that are motivated to do those types Absolute. of things. But your events don't have to be big and elaborate. Anything right. like this, you know, it can be a, a gym jam, you know, right. get together in the gym right. and fly. Your community here, like I said, you can tell. Because, you know, he's been in a couple clubs, I've, pl- I've been in a couple yeah. clubs, and it, you guys definitely have a very good dynamic here with people. Just with, you know, the folks that were helping us out this morning just to do the surprise, oh, yeah, and just, absolutely. you know, out of the blue. And they're like, yeah, we're, we're down for that. Um, no hassles, no problems, no, you know, hey, we'll bring out planes for you to fly. We're going to help you do this. And I was, 
I was overwhelmed. I was like, "That's how nice is that?" Yeah, you know, it really and is. just listening to people talk about you know your club and each other and the things that they were willing to help with. I, I'm if I lived here, I'd be part of this club. Let me let me put it awesome. to you that yeah, way. I would be a, I would be a member of your club you know, for sure. There, you know what? There is a good news because Doug actually this morning came out and gave us our oh yeah official cards we with no members. expiration date no expiration well, date maybe, on this card maybe i'll have to talk <laughs> to becky you know when uh you know we're, we're thinking about see, somewhere else to live we, maybe yeah, this, you, you can't right. see it on the podcast but you guys see it live oh, you know we got the you uh, got 2019 we, 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 uh, that expires have, yeah. these these have that's no that's right you have, that's what you have <laughs> well i'm gonna walk we're, down we're, to the uh, coffee shop down members. there flashing my badge that's right Hey, yeah, I'll take a coffee. double mate <laughs> latte, That's you right. know, yeah. vente. That's right. Well, we ha- we have to congratulate you on an incredibly yeah. successful event. We we so appreciate you hosting us once again, and, and I hope you were happy with uh, the fact that we all came out. You had quite the look on <laughs> yeah. your face. Well, you now I'm concerned. <laughs> this, this thing about this YouTube channel, but maybe, you, I don't know, is that uh, proprietary? You, you haven't released that yet? You're going to do that? Haven't released yeah. it. We, uh, we just, uh, we're, we've been trying to dabbling. put something together for dabbling. quite a while, dabbling in it. We, we do have a, a face, uh, we do have a YouTube channel. It's just nothing on there right now. So, yet. Uh, right. Uh, yet. But we were thinking this may be a good intro, try to get it, and then uh, probably what we'll do is load up the, the channel with a bunch of our old podcasts and then try to kind of do sure. simultaneous yep. stuff. So, yep. uh, but you know, we have had several people that said, Hey, you know, I don't really subscribe to podcasts, but if I had a fa- you know, if you had a YouTube channel, I could listen there and you know, they're in their shop or whatever. And they turn the right. computer on and yeah. do it. So it's been something we've been talking about. One of the guys who was still living in Alaska, he, oh, he right. goes, Hey, I was trying to listen to your, I was trying to watch your, I was trying to watch, watch. your podcast. And I go, you, you, you don't watch po- podcasts. He goes, yeah, I, I tried to bring it up on YouTube or I, the video, well, the video didn't, didn't work, work, you know, but I just listened to it. And I go, you're supposed to just listen to it. And he goes, yeah, but the video didn't show. So am I supposed to, do I need another codex or do I need, you know, the thing wasn't working or I think you need to check that out. <laughs> that and I'm like, funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Wow. Well, we are headed back, yep. and um, I guess we uh, wrap up the day. Let's go fly a couple more times and yeah. see if we can wrangle an airplane. Well, I don't want any more awards, though. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, that you yeah, know, did you tell the listeners that yeah. they did win a distinguished award? We did. Yeah, we actually uh, talked to Steve just a few okay. minutes ago, and uh, we uh, mentioned the fact that Lane's Planes gave us the uh, hard luck award, and and Jay won it for being the only one today. I think I didn't see any other. There were none. Right? I was it. No, there was. Somebody's got a plane in a tree about eighty feet up, so it'll stay there till the storm. Ah, comes that's right. Through. So it hasn't there crashed yet. That's right. So. It, that's right. It's still in flight. Still in flight. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> you know. It's in suspended and, flight. And you know, from our noon demos, uh, we had a you know parachute release. A little that's parachute right. man out of the back of the plane, a telemaster. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All men were lost. No, no, no. Was, two men. Two, two men were. Oh, two, two men, men were. were found. They survived. They, survived. they, they, they landed they, in a tree. They cleared the trees and made it. Two men did not. The eighty six airborne. They're still up in the tree. Yeah, well, That's one right. guy hit the flight line pretty hard. His parachute was tangled. <laughs> and then I saw kids running with body parts. Uh, yes, they, the uh, they brought them back. Brought them so back. luckily the medics were able to be on scene. Yeah. So that was oh, good my news, goodness. So. <laughs> well, Doug, best of luck in this new coming year. I know you guys are uh, probably going to try to put on a better yeah. one next year. We are. And Planning uh, starts tomorrow. Oh, now yeah. I'll take a day off. <laughs> so we'll start uh, uh, I have to say that the Meg Smiles Foundation was, that was uh, awesome. all out here in full force. That was very awesome. We uh, are happy with, uh, you know, your, your support of them as well. So, yeah, well, I'm glad you got to meet them. Uh, yeah, it was really good. They did a good job, and we kind of had – he and I kind of had something in common, so we kind of chatted about it outside the podcast. But it was pretty nice. He uh, did a really good job, and, you know, they were happy to be out here. So it was just fun to see uh, everybody kind of, you know, being a part. So. Cool. Well, man, we get back out there. We appreciate it once again. And, uh, man, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. All right. Great. Uh-huh. See you. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Park Fire Podcast. We are uh, at the end of the day. I think I'm tired. <laughs> Me too. I am too. But it was a good day. What would you like best about it? I like the fact that uh, my plane got put back together. Yeah, that's, uh, it doesn't work, though. Wow, but, uh, wow, I don't wow. know. What the heck? I think the escape just Yeah, lost, the ESC probably died. I, I was out yeah. flying it. I was pushing it really hard. But uh, we uh, we did have an incident. Uh, Mike hauled his fundraiser all the way from Dallas out to here and uh, put it together. We flew it two or three times uh, in the morning. Uh-huh. I threw it. Yeah. You flew it. You flew it. I flew it. We had. Uh, 
You know, I've always been jealous of that paint yeah, job, right? we saw that. Uh -huh. now you, uh, There's just no way I could It's pretty just clear your passive-aggressive tendencies have come <laughs> out. Because <laughs> yeah, you smashed it right into the ground. Yeah, what happened? Really? Just kind of got... So here's my here's my philosophy is that when I launched it, I launched it towards that big tree out in the middle of the field. I think Jay saw that tree and went, whoa, I'm going towards the tree and just kind of tried to roll and pull away from the tree. And it just, unfortunately, this is a pylon racer. So when you get a little bit of pull, it just tightens right up into a real tight arc. And when you're inverted, that's never a good thing. So. Yep. Maybe that's what happened. But, I don't know. You know yeah. Thanks to a little uh, Beacons uh, foam tack. And a little yeah. ingenuity from uh, Mike and Jay had, had it back together, and I was called out to go maiden it. And I got the maiden, and I didn't realize you guys were uh, interviewing somebody else, so I was out maidening airplanes you guys were interviewing. So <laughs> We're working. <laughs> what, do you think we came out here uh -huh, for fun? Exactly. Work, work, work. I, I was like, I wonder if Mike waited to maiden that before we, so we could see it. I didn't Guess realize. <laughs> I was out there with Nick. Yeah, it was fun. Well, Mike, were you uh, excited to see us? I, I I love the the look on your face. That uh, yeah, it was pretty good. Kind of uh, you guys are here. <laughs> you know, we were just talking about it in the morning. It was like, gosh, ah, you know, it'd be good if they were yeah. here. And uh, you know, well, sure we thought for sure up. you knew. I I really had this weird feeling that you you knew we were coming. So yep. I dropped enough so hints on the podcast, and there was a couple of uh, times we got emails on flights and that kind of thing, and. I thought for sure last night I was talking to Jay. I was like, ah, he knows we're coming. I guess it's not going to no, be a big surprise at all. So, and then. Uh, yep, I was really yeah, happy. Well, good. Well, we had a good time, and uh, the Holly Springs Radio Control Society was great. They uh, hosted us this year, made us honorary they did. members. Everybody was, everybody was great. Yep, so We're members we are, now, that's too? That's what this card is. We're honor that's Oh, that's right. The members. Members. Gold pin, that's and right. we're members of the club with no expiration date, he says. No so expiration. The three date. of That's us. Cool. And it's good for free That's coffees right. at the coffee <laughs> shop. <laughs> I don't, Just go down and show your badge so, and you're good. So um so that I was thinking, Jay, you know, we talked with Jay Marsh today. Yeah. And he talked about uh, uh, being a new club, you only had to have five members. That's you right. Know what? I think I'll just sign up for your club. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and so that's three. <laughs> yeah. And so you just got Jim yeah, and then you got uh, Ed. 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 So you there got you go. five. And you got five members. You get yourself a club. You can sanction and, uh, it. You could probably be a gold, a gold club. We can no get out time. of the copper right. class. I bet you Steve from uh, uh, the Fix-It Doctor guys. <laughs> that, Steve, yeah. too. Yeah, bet, yeah. Yeah, he, he, he joined. The I'm flight sure. doctors, yeah. Yeah, the flight doctors. I mean, those guys helped us out. If we didn't have – if they weren't here, that plane would have never gone yeah, back together. He was really That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. It was. Yeah, so. yeah. We had him on earlier today too, and he. Uh, we thanked him for helping us because he was just Mr. Johnny on the spot, ripping out tools. Yeah, he had everything. Yeah, hey, you got an yep. He was anything yeah. you needed. Hey, you got he pliers. Had it, right, so here you go. It was good to meet those guys. Yeah. Well, was there anything uh, you liked uh, about the event? That I liked about it. That oh, I out? like getting my award. At least you I got, got an award. award. A major we award. Talked about that the Hard Luck Award. Thanks to Lane's Hard, Planes once that's again. Right. I know those guys are. Uh, have listened before, so we'll send them a note, tell them they got the shout out again. Um, but yeah, I think it was fun. Nick let me fly a couple of his airplane. Mike got to fly. And Nikolai let me fly a Nikolai bunch of his. That was really cool. Where'd you fly of his? Uh, it's a Mako, uh, the Wisconsin. What would it's you say? It's a West there? Western Michigan Park Flyer. Yeah, and it has it's basically a Depron thing. It's basically a to me. He made it look like a speedboat. It had these pipes. Yeah, it with, was really cool. Like, like it looked like it. Didn't you make something that was like that? It was very much. Yeah, when we flew it in the snow yep. up in Alaska. Yep, yep. It was a uh, that one was like started with a D. I can't remember the name of it. Yeah. Uh, Durango. Uh, I think. Uh, it's yeah, the Durango. Yeah. But I have to say his his model flew a lot better because I got the flight too. Well, well, his his model was better because it had the tail boom right. stuff, which right. mine didn't. Oh. Mine was just straight. Uh, Delta. Oh, that's right. It was straight Delta. And it only yeah. had one bottom. And his has the two separated two pontus, bottoms. Two That's was right. Awesome that's right. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, his, his is just, it's set up. I'm, I'm going to look for plants probably. I'll probably make that one because I like Well, it. and make sure yeah. you put the Teflon tape on the bottom because that's what allowed him to kind of cruise around in the grass. He's yeah, sure. got Teflon tape. And it, oh, that's why okay. it scooted off the grass in a hurry because I was like, wow. Yeah, well, all I, all I have to say is he let me fly his plane and it got my confidence back because after smashing <laughs> yours in the dirt, <laughs> I was not feeling so good. And he's like, hey, you want to fly mine? It was like, good for him. I've got to be a there. changed human too because I, I, uh, when, when, uh, when I saw it go down, I was like, I just dropped my head. And it's like, oh, well. <laughs> and I know, like, you know, as much as two years ago, that would not have been yeah. the case. I would have been like, 
What are you doing? <laughs> You're not my friend anymore. <laughs> You're right. fired. I would have sent him packing. That's it. I'm exactly taking my toys right. and You're go You're walking home. home. Yeah. yeah, you're not oh, getting on no. the flight. You're walking uh, home. I'm blushing like I'm <laughs> saying. Tell him oh, you man. should go back on. Golly. He can't I felt fly. bad, dude. Yeah, he did feel bad. He's a terrorist because he crashed That's the right. plane. So, Well, and to make matters worse is that we were out there at that particular time. Doug actually looked over at him and goes, you want me to announce that the Park Flyer podcast guys are out flying? <laughs> Jay, and Jay goes, well, nah, don't nah. do that. And sure enough, it didn't matter because we were the only ones in the flight line. And right. the airplane's so, you, so, so colorful. So you know what I heard? So what I, you know what I heard from the, from the crowd? And the, and the guy goes, and that's the other half of the hobby. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I remember hearing. Somebody said, that's the other half and of the hobby. there you go. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly that's right, right. They Actually, people did a really good job. I, I was really surprised. Everybody kind of flew, you know, together. And they had helicopters and airplanes out there, which is really not that common. I mean, even at my club, you know, I've got a big club, and we have a separate area for helicopters. But uh, when we go to the Arizona Festival, it's usually, you know, helicopters fly one, you know, right, they airplane, get half an hour, right, hour, you know, kind yeah. of fly. Because it's difficult for guys to, you know, mix and match. You never know. But these guys did a good job. The helicopter guys kept it low, and they were doing their thing, and the other guys kept high. And there were some really cool airplanes out here. I like the C-130. That thing was awesome. It had four engines. And And it was dropping dropping troops. uh, Not all of them. I think that was out of the other one, the Telemaster. Yeah, he dropped the the big Telemaster. Uh, The other one that was out here was that uh, Hobby King one, the one that. Uh, The MiG-17? Yeah, the MiG-17 flew today. I I've seen that one for sale, but uh, it actually flew really well. I was really shocked at how well it flew. That's the one that took off when we were yeah, standing yeah, there, the right? black, uh, yeah, the black and white. Black and white. Know, Alaska yeah. Yeah. It's got it, kind it, of an Alaska look. aggressor schema. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, but it's a 90-millimeter EDF jet. It flew really well and uh, landed really well, too. I was really shocked. Uh, the other one was the one Nikolai had with the uh, the, the Prometheus. No, the, the big oh, pointy, no. the Sky. Oh, the, oh, the Sky, sky uh, jet. Or the sword. The sword. The sky sword. Because I've seen those on Hobby King. And I always thought, yeah, yeah, that's, ah, that's that thing cool looks really plane. cool, but, man, I'd put that in the dirt in a heartbeat. But I just watched Nikolai fly it, and uh, I didn't get a chance to. Was, he ran out of batteries, but it, it was a really cool jet. I mean, I really yeah, liked it. I think he said he did mention that it probably needs a stabilizer. Yeah, I don't think he has a stabilizer. So. He says that, uh, what did he say, if, once you get up to speed, it flies really right. well. But when you're in the low speed envelopes, it has a, it has a little bit of a yeah, wobble. It rocks. It has a, wo- a little wobble to it. Kind of like, kind of like the other. The thing havoc, we're yeah, about. yeah, yeah. The havoc it. has that wobble. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny because I, I'm, I got to test one of those a couple of days early, and they brought it out, and and I, I mentioned that we were all talking about. It. A couple of guys got to fly it, and they said oh, it wobbles right as you go to flare. It just kind of teeters back and forth. And I saw here that both of them did it. So I was talking to Nikolai about it. You know, I was like, yeah, I think every one of them has got that little wobble at the very end well it seems like you probably need to get you know kind of give it some gas to bring it down to the ground yeah, or something a little like, bit you know just sort of juice it a little mm, i don't know you know i don't own one i just flew one as a demo but uh it yeah. you know barry i think owns one so he brought it out but yeah the uh i didn't get to go over to the uh the quad racing guys did you guys go over there i, I, I did mike did because he yeah. got he got the pres not the president but uh roger uh, roger, roger robert yeah Roger yeah. Best to come over and the uh, flight talk director, to right, flight director. They call, they call Yes, himself. the flight director. So, so one of the things the I thought was cool about that, I didn't really know, is like, okay, how do you keep track that a guy, how fast the guy went around the loops? You know, around the they, the, they have little counters in them. No. Huh? They use the frequency that they're assigned, so each pilot gets a frequency assigned to them. Right. And then they have a deal at the end of the race. Uh, it's at the beginning, obviously, to the same spot, that they start the timer when they go by, and then they stop the timer when they go by again. And it has to do with the frequency that they're given when oh, they're flying. Yeah. That's what these guys do. Now, other people might use timers, or what you said. But in this case, they were using the oh. frequency that you're in it. Once that frequency passes this point, I don't know how they do what the electronics Yeah, it's kind of like a transponder. Yeah. Yeah. And so, it's, yeah, probably mm-hmm. when it gets really strong or something. Well, no, it's just the crossing a point. So it leaves that point, then it comes back across the point. It's... Uh, Motocross racers use it, or supercross guys use it too. They have it okay. on their uh, on their motorcycle. When they cross the finish line, it times it. So it's got a it's got a lap timer in it, basically. So they just click okay. the lap. But he didn't, he said like I can't tell where they are on the course, but I can know how long right, a lap takes. Right. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then he said to talk to a little bit about you know the different intricacies of that, which was kind of interesting. Well, they uh, they had a little uh, contest over there, got a first, second, and third. I didn't see who won what, but. Uh, I know Max, the guy who won the part yeah, of the raffle, got second because I heard him talking about yeah, it. Yeah, I I saw I got to meet Max because he yeah he did one part of the raffle. He was talking about flying a quad over an airplane. That was kind of cool. I know they've done that at Joe Nall once or twice, so it's kind of cool. But 
Uh, and then, Jay, you got to talk to some of the uh, Parks and Recreation guys. They were seeing real nice. I did. I did. Unfortunately, I couldn't convince them to come well, on the podcast. Well, you know, they're... She was a little yeah, shy, so, or, or, you know, I don't know what it was. I tried <laughs> my nicest voice. I put on the, the googly uh, eyes. I did everything no trying dice, to get so. her to come on to, to, you know, talk with us, but she, she was like, no. Not a problem. Well, we got to talk to Joey today, too. He's a new uh, new flyer, so he was all Right. Excited. That was nice because, actually, the, the part that I liked about this particular show compared to, like, other shows that we've done, there was a lot of young kids. There was a lot of young kids. Yeah, there was. Yep. You know. And they were very interested and fine. Exactly. Which you don't really see a lot. You know, I mean, we've mentioned that before, I think, in the podcast. That it's been one of those things that, uh, you know, there's a lot of us old guys that can, you know, afford it. But, I, you hey. know, we, we sat next hey. to Steve was selling, uh, you know, Hangar 18 products right here next to us in, our, in the booth next to us. And there were a lot of people in the public that came by and actually took stuff home. So, I mean, you know, they were kids. I didn't really see any adults go, hey, I really got to have this. But the kids were kind of like, you know, Dad, can I have one of these? And then they would talk to Steve, and he would kind of walk them through it. And they would they walked off with, with an item in their hands. So, yeah. And I, and I like the fact that Steve's a hobbyist as well because he understands you don't just sell an EDF to an 8-year-old. You know, right, 100-mile aircraft to a kid that has right. no experience. You know, hey, when you, when you crash this one, come back, we'll sell you a new one. You know, <laughs> I'll sell you another so, one. So, I mean, you know, he was really <laughs> cognizant of that and, uh, and you know, listened to his little sales pitch as much as it was. It was kind of like, hey, you know, you need to start out with something like this. You know, you had a little inductrix. You know, you can do this as a as a quad, as an airplane, as a hovercraft. Hovercraft. You know, yep. it's, all, it's got, you know, he, he kind of there. Yeah, it was a pretty cool yeah, u- little, little unit. unit. It was very cool. Yeah. So. But, yeah, um, beautiful place. I couldn't ask for. I mean, this was very picturesque. I'm not used to all the mm-hmm. green, you know. Um, yeah, and yeah. really tall yeah, trees tall and stuff. Trees, yeah, but, uh, we were talking about that with my brother. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is a, this is really yeah, beautiful. It's really nice, and uh, weather held. Did get a little windy uh, towards the end of the day, but oh, not like Arizona. No, it wasn't like Arizona windy, but it did pick up. And you know. it'd be it'd be nice to get invitations from other clubs. You know, like. To say that they're doing yeah. something, and I don't, we you know we have to have a little bit of a, a run up in order sure. to get you know just we can't just show up if they call sure. on Tuesday and show up right. on Friday, but uh, it'd be nice to have people, you know, say hey, why don't you come to? We're going to have a thing. Well, yeah. and we did. The, there were some guys, uh, actually John, but uh, he where he won the the Yak Fifty Five. He and uh, Steve, right? Yeah, oh they, yeah, they, they did invite us for uh, out. Unfortunately, it's like two weeks from today, so we're both going to be. Oh yeah, so we'll have yeah, to do that yeah, next, next year, maybe. maybe or but you know, maybe it's something they're going to have a fun fly at their club, and he was able to kind of promote his club. So I'm all for it. You know, I mean, I know it was the you know Holly Springs uh, Radio Control Society's event, but it's always nice when you have other clubs. I mentioned to him that it, it's nice to have other clubs that actually promote you know, each other's events because right. there were four or five people from his club that were here, which is great. I love that. You know, I mean, we kind of do the same thing in Phoenix. We have a, you know, our club and then the amps on the other side of town and we go over there or, you know, over to Superstition or whatever. So it's always kind of fun when you're kind of mixing and matching and flying with other guys from other clubs and kind of right. see them. So. Well, we uh, are probably uh, having to wrap it up here, man. It's uh, that time. Well, after. we can probably get in a, a couple of quick yeah, flights hoping, before we go. Uh, hoping we can. We see, unfortunately, the fundraiser's down because uh, I think the ESC finally gave up the ghost. We fried it somehow. It did. That wasn't me. No, and yeah, you know no, what? I, I test flew it. It was Mike. <laughs> it's a Mike. Who was the last guy who flew it? Mike. Dude, it was a, a remade. Mike. How did I? I didn't do anything on the remade to flew. What did you say? Oh, I was say, pushing it hard. Oh, yeah, I did <laughs> say that, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it yeah. wasn't on a for sale. So well, I was trying to shake it out, make sure the thing wouldn't come apart. You know, I mean, come on, it cut me some slack. It didn't. Jay did a great job. Yes, he did. Together. I have to admit that, uh, you know what, if you had a little spackling and a little paint, it would you probably, probably put back it up. back to where it looked almost stock. Almost. But guess what? I'm probably not going to do that. Probably <laughs> stock with a scar. <laughs> <I'm probably laughs> <gonna> <laughs> put a sticker over probably it. Nobody will know. I'm still painting that other one. I gotta yeah, fix that that's one right. How's well, that coming? It's well, coming along good. I'm almost done. Uh, oh, yep. that's right. We're gonna have to get, talk about that. Some need. gold. I got some gold to put on it, and then uh, now, then I just hope that all the retracts work like they to. were, were right. working. Right. Yeah, I, they're gonna been, work. Just been challenging you gotta me. Te- you gotta yeah, test all so. that though. So yeah, that's right. So before I put it, I get up. You know, that's gonna be the challenge part: is putting it back together yeah. and make sure it's no, all. I working. hear you. So. I have confidence. I do too. Oh, it'll go together. There's no question about yeah. that. Well, dude, you've done a, gr- a great job. Uh, you've done a lot more than I yeah, thought. Yeah, me too. Do I, th- I was pretty impressed. So, yeah, well, kudos well, to you for, yeah, for sticking that we'll thing out, sticking with it. See how it looks in the sky. Uh, you know, the one thing I just want to give Mike props again 
we flew the fundraiser today. There was no, t there, it was b by far the best looking plane <laughs> in the sky. I swear. I mean, I'm not trying to just be, you know, this is, there was a lot of good looking planes out there, but you could see that thing yeah. the whole time flying it. You knew when it was upside yeah. down, you knew when it was flying right side up. I mean, the how, paint how many comments that. did we get? Awesome. At least oh, five. Or more. Yeah, yeah. I, got, I, I probably yeah. got five or ten as well. People come wow, that's oh really gosh, nice that's plane. a good-looking yeah. paint job. Yeah, you can really see yeah. that plane. So yeah, I think that was a, almost that was all the way down the line, you know, pilots yeah. were just like, wow, that plane is really good to look. So I, yeah. I'm, I'm glad that it worked out. I'm glad you like it. And uh, it does yeah, it look is. good. I have to admit, it, it just looked, it looked fantastic. Yeah, we just picked really great yeah, colors did. and put it on there just right. It looks good. Well, of course, yeah. now they're going to say, wow, it looks good with a scar on it. Wow. <laughs> hey, that's a battle tested plane. Yeah, you know, right the there. good news is is that it, it looks Weathering. fabulous. <laughs> Weathering. <laughs> Weath that's Thanks, right. Mick. That's, you're very kind of you to say that. <laughs> it's a little Weathering. Weathering on there. Uh, I have to say, it looked fabulous all the way to the ground, Jay. Yeah, yeah, it was Fab all the way to the ground. Oh, and dude. you know what? I felt like when it exploded on the ground, that was That cool was cool, too, too was, because the. Uh, I wish somebody had a camera. I know, on right? It. Actually, I think they may have. Somebody, I think really? somebody may have had. I think it. somebody got some yeah. footage. Oh, that would. That would if be you're listening, if you're listening to the podcast and you have down, footage of, wind right. it back, slow it down, wind yeah. it back, you know. You oh see my god, over come on, over again. that'd be awesome. <laughs> and here's what Jay. Look, here's the Jay going. Part of Jay's heart going, his heart going out of his yeah, body. Yeah, <laughs> Just edit the sound. No. Oh my god. Instead of the expletives, that yes, might have come out exactly. of his mouth. Exactly. Well, if you are listening and you have footage of the fundraiser uh, incident at Holly Springs uh, Wings Over Springs, We'd we would love, to, love have to have it. You can email it to us at uh, Parkfire Podcast. I, I can already see the memes are coming. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're gonna be well, nice you know, to you, but it's it's good to be wanted. That's Jay. right. <laughs> yeah, wanted. Although our Facebook listeners page, Parkfire Podcast Facebook listeners page. Uh, is going to have probably some photos on it because I know that a couple of guys took pictures oh, of us yeah. walking sure out there. It, it might already have it, it on be, there. It may already be on there, and we haven't yeah. even checked no, it yet. No, we do about it now. <laughs> <You're not. laughs> wow, that's fantastic. We have had a fantastic time. Guys, let's uh, go see if we can fly once or twice before we actually head out. But sounds good, buddy. Man, I, uh, good. I've had a good time. So we are very, very happy that uh, we were able to join Mike. Hopefully you didn't steal too much of your thunder. I know you were looking forward for a no. <laughs> having his own event. Right? <laughs> that was a quick oh, response. I mean, man. Three times three better. Three times better. There we go. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess um, I'm Michael from Arizona. And I'm Jay from the hills of Texas. And I'm um, A.K. Mike and from Texas in North there Carolina. Well, we're all in North Carolina. So coming coming yeah. uh, live from the Holly Springs. How do we say that? Holly Springs. It's actually the Wings Over Springs. Springs. Wings, Wings over, springs. over springs. But anyway, we're uh, out of here, and we'll see you in two weeks. You have been fly. listening to the Park Flyer Podcast. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to your next visit. Please give our show a star rating and review, and feel free to email us your questions, topics, or suggestions to parkflyerpodcast at gmail.com. Mm -hmm.